Hey guys, what's up? Pasay Butter here. We are now on this second game for today, January 25th, 2023. This is the battle between um, Brooklyn Nets and Philadelphia 76ers, and that'll happen at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time. That's going to be 8.30 a.m. here in Manila. Again, I'm just inviting everyone who have not subscribed yet to our YouTube account or uh, YouTube channel, Pasay Baller. Please click on the subscribe button below. At the same time, hit on that bell logo. That way, automatically, you guys will be receiving notifications whenever new videos are uploaded. All right, so uh, before we proceed, I have checked on the uh, spread on this. It's actually minus 5.5 that is given, and that's given towards the home team, Philadelphia 76ers. So let's check on the standings and the rankings first for these two teams, both belonging to the Eastern Conference. Starting off with Philadelphia 76ers, they are at number 2 with a record of 30 wins and 16 losses, while Brooklyn Nets, they're not that far at number 4 with a record of 29 wins and 17 losses. Just one game behind, right? Yeah, just one game behind. Cool. I didn't know that, you know, um, Brooklyn Nets is the, or is that close. Okay, so Philadelphia 76ers, they would have the home court advantage on this. In terms of fatigue, well, both teams were able to rest up last night, so we can skip that part. In terms of momentum, too, um, we got to give an advantage towards Philadelphia 76ers. I mean, both teams have been winning, but uh, Brooklyn Nets, they have won back-to-back, -back, while Philadelphia 76ers, they have won five straight. So we got to give um, the advantage towards Philadelphia 76ers as they are carrying a longer, uh, you know, a, a, a longer streak. Also, if you take a look at their uh, forms, Brooklyn Nets, they have won 5 out of their last 10. Pretty much decent, especially without KD. But for uh, Philadelphia 76ers, man, they're looking hot, winning 8 out of their last 10. So let's take a look at the availability of the players and the health of both teams. For Brooklyn Nets, uh, KD is still out. While for Philadelphia 76ers, Cork Mass is confirmed out. While we got Embiid listed as questionable. So in terms of uh, health and availability, I'm going to give a slight advantage towards uh, Brooklyn Nets because uh, uh, Philadelphia has two uh, players listed. One is Embiid, the other is Korkmaz. Although Embiid, we ain't really sure yet whether he's out-out and KD is. So it's it's really tough. So I just pick on uh, Brooklyn has it, having the advantage because they only got one player listed down here. This is going to be one of the toughest uh, picks to have especially at this you know at this time of the day because uh again we ain't sure whether joel and bead will, will be playing or not right uh he is still listed as questionable so uh these types of situations make some of the some of our predictions tough for the past i don't know couple of weeks or so but for this particular battle um i'm gonna be you know i'm gonna be quick on this i'm gonna pick brooklyn nets i mean regardless whether uh Embiid uh, will play or not, I'm going to pick Brooklyn Nets along with its plus. Uh, Brooklyn Nets, I don't know if you guys have noticed, they have actually shown a lot of toughness and a lot of re resilience for the past, you know, couple of weeks or so. Yes, I know they got some losses, but if you take a, if you take a, week, a, a look at those wins that they got, man, those were, some of, those, some of those wins, they weren't even supposed to grab those Ws, but they did. Now, thanks to Kyrie Irving. You know, I don't personally like Irving that much, but he has been great. He has been great, and he has been leading his team. Now, whenever Kyrie Irving is actually up, um, uh, the other options are actually uh, available too. I'm talking about their bigs, you know, um, diving inside and get uh, getting those passes from him. Not just him, of course, but the other guards. I'm talking about their shooters, man. I'm talking about uh, Harris. I'm talking about Curry. Uh, now for their bigs and uh, there's Claxton, um, and uh, um, it's actually great to see that Ben Simmons is starting to, you know, starting to realize that he would actually need to be a bit more aggressive, so that he would be a bit, a bit more productive. Now for Philadelphia 76ers, they are a great team, man, hands down. Um, I'm looking at Philadelphia 76ers, and uh, there's one thing that I'm thinking of: uh, Eastern Finals. You know, <laughs> uh, Philadelphia is definitely one of those. Um, very much probable that they'll be in the Eastern Finals, but again, the 5.5 spread with uh, how Embiid is, you know, is listed right now. Again, we ain't sure, uh, but I'm gonna pick Brooklyn Nets right now with the plus 5.5. I'm relying on Kyrie Irving along with his boys trying to keep it close, and I think they would be able to do that with or without Joel. Of course, if you would want to uh, stick around and wait, you can do that and uh, wait until maybe a couple of hours more before, I mean, before the game. Who knows? Maybe, um, maybe we would know. Uh, 
the final decision and then you can go ahead and try to make some adjustments based on the plus by then. But right now, it's plus 5.5 for Brooklyn Nets and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take that one. Again, it's Brooklyn plus 5.5. Peace out as I love it. God bless.